what's up guys and welcome back to another video as always I thank you for taking the time to watch and this might be good news if you're someone who a wants to come over here and teach English B does not yet have a TEFL certificate to do so and C needs a needs a proper visa the e-type visa in order to come over here and teach but finding finding it hard maybe to get one well I have a solution for those things if you're that kind of person and I'll tell you tell you all about it in just a minute but first I want to say thank you as always to all my supporters you guys are really awesome I appreciate all the donations you guys send me every month to help keep the channel going and if you guys want to be part of that family there are three ways to do it you can donate below either to my paypal ko-fi.com if you just want to buy me a coffee or you can join my patreon for five dollars a month those are all good ways to contribute and when you do that you give me your email address and i'll add it to my list and you'll receive all my exclusive content each and every week the next uh, exclusive video will be going out in just a couple days so be sure to get in on that oh also, I saw a snake, so let's start with that right after the intro. Yeah, I don't, I haven't really seen a lot of snakes around here. I'm more of a bug guy. I like uh, bugs and spiders and uh, insects, things of that nature. But uh, I'm never really sure about a snake. I can't identify them. I don't know if they're venomous or not. So if anybody can identify that one from the pictures I took, let me know what you think it is in the comments below. We saw it walking through the uh, Royal Gardens actually so it was in a very public place wasn't that big didn't make any threatening moves but then again it's a snake so what is a threatening move uh, to a snake uh, I don't know if we can get down there looks like the road might be blocked off might have to go up I don't know okay she's saying go ahead hello Okay, I guess we're going. <clears throat> but anyway, if you don't know, if you want to teach, in, in, teach English in Cambodia, the minimum requirement is a TEFL certificate. Uh, and there are a couple ways you can go about getting one. You can get one before you leave, taking an online course. And if that's your plan, I recommend the International TEFL Academy. I have a link down below for that if you want to check out their page. They have a great online course. It's about three months long. And uh, they'll teach you everything you need to know about teaching English uh, in a foreign country. But some people don't want to go the online route. Some people want to come over here and teach, but they're having a hard time getting their uh, what we call a business visa, even though it's actually an E-type visa. But a lot of expats and other people just call it a business visa. It's the kind of visa you're going to need and the kind of visa extension you're going to need if you want to uh, teach English as a job here in Cambodia. Now, uh, even though you should be able to get one for, for directly from the embassy or, or Cambodian embassy or consulate in your country, People are reporting issues. People are saying that uh, they're being told they can't from their particular country. It's just a big, it's a, it's a conflict of information is what it is from what we hear in Cambodia from the government to that being passed down to the embassies and other organizations. So it can be a hassle getting all of those things done 
at the same time you need a TEPL certificate you got to get your e-type visa I may have found a solution for all that I'm waiting for this waiting to get away from this uh, saw going on finishing up the roads here but anyway taking an in-person tuffle course could be your answer and I found a good one I haven't known of any in CM Reap in the four years I've been here I didn't know of any tuffle company that had a an in-person course in CM Reap But I have a friend who came over here to take one and uh, he vouches for it, he's good with it, he says he likes it, he says they're very professional, nothing funny going on, so I will give them my full recommendation to, to them as well. And that is a Destination Temple. Oops, yes, we're going this way. I guess we're going this way. Not only do they have a class right here in CM Reap, while the majority of in-person classes would be based in Phnom Penh. So if your goal is to eventually wind up in CM Reap, this is also another plus for you. But it's an in-person class. Uh, they teach you everything you need to know about teaching English. They're doing it hands-on with the instructors, with the other students in your class. And at the end, you will have a practicum where they will take you out to one of the local Watts or temples and have you, the students, actually teaching classes to make sure that you've absorbed that knowledge and you know what you're doing and give you some, some practice, which will, which will look really good on your uh, resume or CV. Uh, these classes are held uh, every day, Monday through Friday. They have group activities for the classes, uh, including Kamai, uh, basic Kamai lessons. And uh, you'll all go together to see different local sites, eat different local foods. Uh, my buddy there, he took a Kamai cooking class. Through, through the TEPO course, he took a... They got to go out to the conservation park and see some uh, endangered and almost extinct animals that they have there, which is, which is awesome. And of course, it gives you a chance to bond with other people who are over here for the same reason you are. Now, I've been given permission in a, in a two or three days here. Uh, Destination Temple has opened up a new training facility and I'm going to be able to go in there and take some video. I'll be able to talk with the, with the main director himself of the course, be able to interview him. And so if this is something you're interested in, something you want to know more about, then do two things. First, visit the website, which uh, there's a link down below for it. You can get more information from there if you want. Also, I want to be sure that uh, because this isn't my thing, uh, if, if you decide to go with this class, to mention the name Stephen C. That's all you need. Don't need his full last name, Stephen C. And uh, he'll get credit for the referral. So you can go to the website, check out all that information. Or if you want to leave a comment below with any questions you want me to ask the director. Anything I might not be able to answer because I didn't take the course, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Leave me those questions. And when I go over there and I will do the tour, 
make the video I'll interview the director and I'll ask him all all of the relevant questions <coughs> so that you can figure this out but here's one of the great things about the course is that they give you a student visa once you purchase the course and commit to it commit to coming over here on a certain date And uh, that visa is good for 30 days, which is good because after three weeks, they'll have you go down to a uh, travel agency. And from there, you can change that right into an E-type visa with the extension that you want. Like uh, my buddy Steve there, he, uh, he just got a, a six month EG visa. You got the E-type visa with the G extension, which means for the next six months, he can feel free to look for a job. <coughs> And then as soon as he finds a job, he'll change that into an EB. The, the visa extension designation will change to a B. And I think that's a good way to go. You get to come over here. You get to take your course. You don't have to worry about getting a letter of recommendation from someplace over here that you don't know. They take care of all that for you. They they make sure you get your proper visa. And all that good stuff. Now, I know this won't apply to people who are coming over here to retire necessarily. Unless you want to take the temple just for your own edification. Your own personal knowledge. Anybody can take it. And then once you finish the course, when you change your visa type, you can just change that to an ER which would be a retirement visa. But then you always have the temple as a backup, just in case you ever wanna, you decide to teach. So that's the lowdown, that's the basics. Anything else right now, like I said, I can't answer for you, but go to the website, if you don't want to wait for the next video, you want to check it all out yourself and you decide to go ahead. The next class starts January 12th, by the way. So that's coming up really soon. But they have one every month, so no. Don't worry if you miss that one. You'll be able to get in uh, later. But if you do decide to take it, mention Stephen C. Give him the credit. He told me all about it. Said to recommend it. So, uh... I will and uh, in the next few days I'll be going to make the video with the director and we'll go from there all right that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to share it go ahead if you have not yet please hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and be sure to check out all my links down below Help keep the channel going by donating through either PayPal, Ko-Fi.com, or you can join my Patreon. All my social media is down below. Uh, other channels, vlogging from Southeast Asia. Mainly Cambodia, but I got, uh, but I got one in uh, Vietnam. <clears throat> you might want to check out all those channels because they have good information. And give you an idea of uh, various happenings around, around this area in this part of the world and also my blog is back up you can find that link down below along with my official Dave Does Cambodia Facebook page and the link to all my other blogs and social media sites all right thank you guys again I hope you all stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next one